Good morning, aviators. How is everybody doing today? This is your captain speaking. Now you are joining another uh, episode of the Bodacious Rant with Burn and Rye. Uh, so sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the flight. Yeah, please put your uh, tables up and put your seats in the upright position because we are about to review Top Gun Maverick. So we're getting to the highway, into the danger zone, if you don't know. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like, it, it was a little hard to rewatch the first movie going into this just because <laughs> it's a little dated, but even though it was only in 86, and it's like, eh, it just... It doesn't vibe the same, you know what I mean? It's very up its time, you know. That's part of the charm, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. It was, it was tough to watch, but man, they were all so young back then. But that's not the point. Um, so this is the long. This is I don't know if this is a weighted necessarily, but this is a a sequel. You know, that's been teased for the last couple of years. I think it was in the end of 2019 or mm-hmm. or middle of 2019, and then 2020 was supposed to come out, but then thanks to COVID, that got postponed. To last year and then got postponed again to this year but I, I am happy to say this is a movie that i am fine with waiting for like the it was worth the wait for sure um completely blown away by it last night saw it in imax and you know i think uh burn the the two espresso the double espresso shot of coffee you gave me was a uh, was great i stayed awake the whole time didn't lose interest yeah. at all you know, I, as we were watching the movie, I was like, I don't even know if I needed it, <laughs> just because of the pure adrenaline that was rushing through my veins. Yeah, I don't feel like there was any segment in this movie that felt unnecessary or boring. I was, I was in it to win it. Um, as it's definitely, I think, I think it's this is a bold statement, but this is one of the best sequels I've ever seen. That's like, like ever since like Blade Runner twenty forty nine, Mad Max Fury Road, more of like a direct sequel to the original from the eighties, and it is just just amazing. Before we uh, finish, uh, before we keep going, uh, keep ranting on about this, uh, don't forget to ring the bell, give us a like, subscribe, guys, share us around, keep the conversation going, and let's 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 grow our ranting community. Let's all rant together. Why not? You know what I mean? Exactly. Like exactly. You know, we, we all like talking about movies. You know, let's bring more people in and and have and you know like then join into the fun because yeah, this is very much a, a fun thing to do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this started becoming a rhythm thing. It's one of those things you kind of do jokingly and then it just naturalizes itself. Once you but... start, you can't stop. Exactly. Um, so for those of you who don't know about Ma- Top Gun Maverick, this is the sequel to the original Top Gun in 1986, directed by Tony Scott. And Maverick is, you know, still a pilot in the Navy, uh, which was actually kind of a running joke uh, in the movie, which was really well, which is funny every time they brought it up. Mm-hmm. And he is called back to the Top Gun group, which is, you know, basically the Navy's most elite uh, co- air, like uh, pilots for combat, aerial combat. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. And, you know, he, he's reluctant to do it because he knows his ex-wingman, uh, uh, Goose, his son, is in the program and is one of the guys coming back, played by Miles mm-hmm. Teller, which yeah. I think this is one of Miles Teller's best movies since uh, Whiplash, in my opinion. I haven't really seen all his, some of his other projects, but Whiplash was my favorite one for him until right. this one. And, yeah, so it, it does a good job of retreading the old film, like some of these sequels that are like 10-plus years have been doing, where they're like, oh, we're retreading the plot, the original plot, adding some yeah. new stuff. he's like... These legacy sequels that have come, you know, years and years after the initial release of, you know, whatever movie that they're a sequel to. You know, this, like you said, this was the first movie came out in the 80s. Like, this has been a long time. Yeah, and uh, I, th- I think it does a perfect blend of doing that, like retreading the original, while also adding some, you know, new cast members to it, uh, like characters, and then to add some good twist to it. Um, again, this is a non-spoiler, so I'm not trying to dive into it too much, because... This is definitely the other movie I'm like, you guys have to go see this in theaters. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you can only see one movie this year, at least right now, Top Gun Maverick's the one to go see it for sure. Especially in IMAX or maybe even Dolby just because you got to feel the sound design in this movie. It's like, wow. That's, that's all i got to say for that. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, uh, like what you said, um, that this is like one of the best like sequels. Uh, I'll do you one better, man. This is... This is one of the the best action movies I think ever made. Um, mm-hmm. th- this this surpasses the original in almost I would say every way. Not almost Absolutely. every way. Every way. 
you know, yeah. like the, the the acting here is is really good. You know, Tom Cruise brings his A game like he always does. But you know, where we find the character here, there's a little bit more pathos and like a little bit more nuance to his uh, his character this time around. You know, him being a a captain in the in the Navy Air Force. Uh, and it's like, dude, like you. You, you're, you're holding for on to the years, past like, for 30 years yes yeah, so it's like, like you never wanted to move up man <laughs> but you gotta like, let but, go buddy <laughs> yeah exactly but it's like he he does a great job always i mean tom cruise is, is known for bringing his a game to every uh every production that he's in but like you said a lot of the the newer cast as, as well are really great here uh miles teller you know as as goose's son um and then uh the, the other two standouts for me were um uh, what was his name Glenn Powell, Glenn Powell as a hangman who comes here is kind of like that that uh, that uh, maverick role from the first movie, you know, that sort of like hot shot asshole pilot that we get, and then um, the other pilot, uh, Phoenix, played by uh, Monica Barbarella, really good. I uh, mean, the, the entire like new cast uh, is is really great, but where I think the movie really shines here is just the. The, the filmmaking you know uh, joseph kaczynski is the, the the director of this movie and um you know he came into the, the the movie making game with you know tron legacy which is you know another legacy sequel in and of itself which i do think that movie is better than the original one as well um you know the people's uh, enjoyment may vary in that movie but i thought the visuals of that movie were in, incredible but the other the second movie that he did was with tom cruise and it was oblivion and that was really great so that was like the beginning of of their relationship and and then yeah like he did uh, only the brave which was a, a little bit of an underrated movie i think that that firefighter movie that kind of flew under the radar but here man he, then this movie um he's he makes a statement as being you know one of the best uh at directing action uh the the combat sequences in this movie are are second to none uh this is like everything you see here with with the with the with the flying and how they mount the cameras onto the the planes and how the action is choreographed it's nothing like you've ever seen before and probably nothing like you'll ever see unless they make a third top good movie i can't imagine you know any other production or any other like movie getting to this level of, of greatness and how they depicted all these things it was just truly incredible to watch and you know like you and i saw it in imax and honestly it's like that is like one of the best imax experiences i've ever had like do you feel like like you're in the cockpit of those of those fighter jets and you're you're along for the ride from the beginning to end and it, it's it's just incredible man this is the truly a, a great movie experience and and it's it, it's because it's kind of like an ode to blockbusters that we rarely get anymore you know they know uh tom cruise is like he's really big on uh having a lot of the action in these movies be practical and they pay off, man. I mean, they, they have for a while now with the last few Mission Impossible movies. The last one, on you know, Fallout in particular, being what I consider also, you know, one of the best action movies of all time. And now with this one, dude, it's like, it, I'm just so glad that, like, they're able to keep doing this in, with movies, you know, nowadays where you know, we've kind of leaned a little bit too much into the, the CGI. Not that I don't like it, you know, obviously we've seen some incredible stuff, but there's just something to be said, you know, when you're watching something on screen and you're like, they really did that, and that's incredible. I couldn't have said it any better. Yeah, this is definitely like, you know, just, this is definitely one of the more stronger movies, practical effects-wise, in the last, like, decade for the most part. You know, excluding like maybe like John Wick movies, The Raid, other other the couple action movies and stuff. But again, totally, totally different stuff. Yeah, I mean and, to the scale, like you know, yeah, this no, to the scale. big of the scale, like no other movies are doing this. Yeah, exactly. And um, you know, and like I said, you know how you you brought. I, I I thought it's interesting. You thought Hangman was more like a Maverick. I kind of felt that he was more like Iceman in a way. Just but he's I mean, like a mix like between just, both. Yeah, which say. is just straight up dick, but also just pushes the limits and stuff. But um, it really does harp, like really centers around um, Iceman and Maverick's relationship, which it was solid. It was good to see, you know, Val Kilmer again in this movie, and um, you know, that just kind of throwback to that that whole story between not only just him and Goose, but him and his you know best friend of me, Iceman. And then we see, you know, uh, and the chemistry between him and Miles Teller, like portraying a lack of chemistry between them was very well done. And again, like you said, you know, the, the younger cast, the new uh, generation of Top Gun pilots was they were a fine addition. They didn't feel like they were unnecessary or kind of that cliche of like, 
oh yeah we're you know we're younger and better it's like no there's still a lot you can learn um so i'm gonna give this movie just a five out of five straight up it is definitely i think my favorite movie so far 2022 beat out the batman for me and man and I, i forgot what else has come out to be honest it's been so much so um i'm definitely gonna try and see this again for sure yeah, man. I mean, from top to bottom, th- this movie was just like it, 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 like it had no right <laughs> to be as great as it was. From yeah, the cast of characters that are all interesting and well defined in their own right. You know, it being an ensemble piece to to a certain extent. You know, everyone that comes in here uh, leaves leaves you with an impression to where you know by the end of the movie you're invested in them. And I think where this movie like really does succeed is 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 in the plot. You know, giving you from the get go. You know, there, there's this mission that everyone. Every this whole movie is building up to, and that's one of my main complaints of, of the first Top Gun movie, where it really felt like things just sort of happened. You know, like events just sort of unfolded in that movie, and the third act of that movie is really tacked on. <laughs> you know, where they they graduate and all of a sudden, here's your mission. You got to go like fight these like unnamed pilots and do all these things. It's like okay, yeah, sure. They all of a sudden we need an action sequence to end this movie. That is not the case here, man. The way they wrap up the tension throughout the movie, the way they pepper in the plot and then they have the the human, you know, the human drama between these characters and them having to come together to complete this impossible mission. Eh, wink, wink. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it was just pure cinema, dude. Uh, it was such a great time at the movies and I, I can't believe how much I really enjoyed this and yeah, like I said, it, it's. I don't think I'm speaking in hyperbole when I say this is one of the best action movies of all time. Like I, I can't really undersell this movie at all. Like this, this movie's great, and I think anyone who comes in into this is going to find enjoyment. Whether you're a fan of the old movie or if you didn't even see the old movie, I think audiences like just are going to have a great time at the theaters with this one. And it is a resounding five out of five, and and easily my favorite movie of the year. And that this is a, like you said, this has been a really stacked year. And I, I've said before, you know, I think, you know, Everything Everywhere All at Once was going to be my favorite movie of the year. I've said, you know, The Northman is probably going to be, like, the best visual experience we've had in theaters this year. But, I mean, this movie, it, this came out of nowhere for me, you know, and and completely surpassed those two, surprisingly. You know, I knew I was going to have a good time with this. I didn't know how much I was going to love this movie. And I think people are going to love this, too. And uh, what a what a great movie to, to kick off the, uh, the three-day weekend for everyone. So I hope everyone does definitely go check this out, because... It's amazing. Yeah, and all, and also, if you guys are wondering, this is definitely one of the sequels you can, you can kind of go go into this, and it'll spell everything out for you for the most part, and then you can go back and watch it if the original if you want. But mm-hmm. honestly, it didn't really feel necessary to do it. It, it spells out everything beautifully. It yeah, that, and that's what good sequels are. That's some of the what the best ones do. They don't. They don't rely on the original movie so much, you know what I mean? So right yeah, um, with these legacy sequels, you kind of fall into the trap of uh, of nostalgia, right? And and I know mm-hmm. a lot of movies that haven't succeeded are the ones that sort of lean too much into that nostalgia. And I think this movie uses n- a nostalgia in the, in the perfect way possible. Where, where, like you said, you can come into it not knowing anything and enjoying it, or if you've seen the original, there's things here that you're just gonna like really enjoy because it's for it's for the people who love the original. And then they used it perfectly. It does. It's not a crutch that they're leaning on. It's something to sort of, you know, add some more uh, enjoyable spice to the the main dish that's already really good. Exactly. So, uh, for those of you, if if you guys did have a chance to go see it this weekend, let us know what you think of the comments. Did you love it? Were you in by like not interested by it? Um, please let us know. If you weren't impressed by it, then I'm like, what does it take? I don't, I don't know what it would take for you guys to not What like have this. you seen? <laughs> you know, I would really like to know what people have seen if they weren't impressed by this. Because some of the things that happen in this movie are just amazing. Amazing. Exactly. And um, as always, guys, uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend this weekend. Um, stay bodacious and uh, keep on ranting, everybody. Yeah, everybody, you know, be good, be safe. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we have a lot more stuff to talk about. This is a really crowded weekend. But uh, yeah, if, if anything, go check this movie out. Peace out, guys.